What is up my awesome YouTubians and welcome back to Craftopia. So today it is day 79 in game. We are still absolutely and utterly nude, still on the first island. I've just been going around, messing around, picking things up, just exploring really, just trying to pick a spot where I want to live. I think I found a spot. Anyway, this in the background has been working out absolutely fine. It is absolutely flawless. It is Perfect-ish is just an absolute eyesore. Um, I haven't edited the footage of just making it as a little five-minute tutorial, but I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory for Christ's sake. So you can get this sorted out. You don't need seeds. This is the reason why I made it, because I don't want to f fart around with seeds and clay and this and that. I just want to put something down, get wood, and it's been working out wondrously. I've just spent a shitload of wood because I opened up a, a number of maps up the top there but i thought you know i'll come back have a look see you know what is going on oh my god i've already got another hundred there and also could you get off that you're not you're not a monkey get get off it woman um yeah made this made for some uh, excuse me excuse me how dare you not given the chairs I made this for some charcoal because charcoal's a pain in the ass it takes absolutely forever to make but anyway hopefully you know at some point i'll get the if it's needed, a tutorial on that uploaded. It's like five minutes. Over here, what I've been doing is... I know there is better food that we can automate. This was the first thing that popped into mind. Um, I mean, you need cooking oil anyway for a number of things. So I've got that set up, but it's all pretty much being used. And most definitely have to probably double or even triple up on the whole oil production to keep up with the meat. But... That, that's being made, that's making me food, I'm not too bothered, it's filling me up, I'm not in a major rush for all of the epically awesome things later on, that thing is still going, it's an absolute bloody mess, can't wait to get rid of it. What else? Maps, yes, I've been going around, I haven't visited pretty much, if I've, if I've visited like four, to be honest with you, uh, of these islands, just opened up these ones just now, um... We need 30 togs. I should have I should have iron on me. If not, I'm just going to quickly show you, you know, where I've been making some basic iron. What do I need? Oh, Christ, yeah. So let's go there. Let's have a quick poke just to show you guys, you know, what I've been doing. Um, It's over here. So the unfortunate thing is with monoliths, even if you have a monolith, you still have to be on the bloody island for it to keep them loaded and working and i'm a little bit like why why you know why can't it just keep them running even if i'm not in the island it's got a monolith the chunks are loaded just let them do their thing but um, you know that's uh perhaps if one of you good people's know so this is what i've been doing over here pretty much making iron Actually, this line is steel, so we've got the two furnaces, one making the iron, one making the steel coming into hither, like so. Over here, this one is making all the iron. My God. <laughs> yeah, I was AFK for a little bit. I was watching some anime and some other crap, and I just fell asleep as well, because, you know, I've been uh, spending a lot of time at the hospital, because Dad's in the hospital, and uh, everything is absolutely shit right now. But anyway, uh, yeah, that is the iron production, iron and steel production. So let me just get some cogs and I'll open up those last two bits. The camel has a lot of shits every day. All of the other, um, all of the other animals, creatures, people, and all of that, they only have a 30% chance every day to have a shit. This guy, however, likes to shit quite a lot. <laughs> I'd forgotten the percentage. But yeah, I'd, I've just been standing here. I've already I've already got 17 um, of the uh, bloody saltpeter here. I've got a... I think I've got some more poop stored up somewhere else. Um, I already made... Uh, would be my third uh, alchemist stone as well and they, this was done in a very very short amount of time which is absolutely utterly awesome so if once you do unlock the tech get your pet 
get a giraffe wherever you go if you're gonna be building or whatever just sit him down stuff him stuff it's ass near a chest with an absorber and just just leave him there but make sure you have uh the weight command this one over here the weight order so he's not following you around and he keeps his ass pointed towards that uh, absorber the guard order so far i have not used it i do have anubis um pfft. But I haven't really used him. I've, I've only had this guy. I mean, as you can see, she's uh, level uh, 13 now. So, you know, she's been out for quite some time. No combat, nothing at all. Just been, just been leveling up by shitting, really. That's pretty much it. So we've got these cogs. Let's go and have a look see what the other two maps are going to be. One of those. One of them. Um, Can we unlock these guys? Yes, we can. We've got a crap load of gold. I have no idea how <laughs> I'm getting the gold, but yeah, I am, so there you go, come on, would you please give me something, I don't know what, I, I really don't know what I want right now, um, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to be moving over to the Cherry Blossom Island, it is an enemy level 56 island, and as you can see, we're absolutely nude, so that's going to be a bit of a problem if we get into a fight, but today, what I want to do is I want to make a house, the only problem is, I don't know if I'm going to have it a time lapse, or if I'm going to build it, and then I'm going to bring you guys back in the end, but what I do know is, I'm going to be recording all of it, so... I'm going to get on with that. At some point, I may, may have a brain fart and make some armor, but we'll just see how that is going to go. Who rated in so? He should be capable. Should be. Let us see how badly my aim is going to be. And pray that I do not fall <laughs> inside there, because he will literally wreck me with one hit. There we go. Jesus, please capture him. Thank you, my god, man. That was horrible. Never, 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 never want to do something like this ever again. <laughs> but we have the Kevin. Let us pray that I do not screw anything up. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to find a couple of high-level green monos. High-level green monos, pretty much the ones in this area. Um, should all be fine. And the reason why I'm going to go for high level ones is because we're going to be using water. And they're going to die quicker in water rather than the uh, cooking pot. Hopefully they'll heal Kevin's on a breeder quicker. Or, well, better. So yes, if you are wondering the sort of damage we are doing, <laughs> it's not that good. Everything has taken quite a while to sort of like, you know, get their health down a bit. But he should be capturable now. Okay, so over here, what I've been trying to do is, you know, I've farmed up the monos, got them, gather some bits and bobs, you know, a bit of, bit of, you know, farming. Uh, trying to open up these guys to hopefully try and get another one of, you know, these little empty islands at a higher enemy level. Because I thought, but I've forgotten how, to, when you put, <clears throat> excuse me, when you put mobs in a breeder, how to get them to to come out at higher levels i thought there was a way i could be tripping balls um but if there is you know remind me in the box and on the how to do it because i've just totally forgot unless i am imagining everything so we got that down let's get this thing down as well just in case we need it i do know i need some floors so let me get these made and we'll start the little farmy stuff so yes let, let this run for a little while feel very 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 bad about losing that level 80 really bad i really feel like i should just go and try to grab another one i mean the walls are there, all I have to do is just lead him in and just pin cushion, make him look, in, look like a pin cushion with arrows. But I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to use these guys over here. So we've got some rubber Kevins, which is physical crit damage rate, movement speed, and attack per second. I believe that's attack speed. Attack speed 5%. Some defense. Uh, we got the thief boss here, so that's attack 25 and this, that, and the other, which is good. We're going to be using that. We also have it on this as well. Um, I think pretty much that's all we need. I think we only need like one of each, really, to to get onto our gear, and then we can just use the enchanting uh, points. So, Robert Kevin's Thief Boss, it was Robert Kevin's, wasn't it? Physical crit damage, movement speed, and all of that. And we can also try to mix in some dangerous. 
uh, crocky stuff in that. I'm not going to put... Um, yeah, actually, no, I am going to put a thing over here. Because it'll end up popping out and just causing all sorts of problems. Who rated in Sue? Sue, Sue, Sue. This is what we're going to do. Um, I'm not really paying too much attention as to what are going to be the best in chance and all of that good stuff. I don't want to spend so much time on, on this. So this is what we've got here. If we just have a look in the inventory, because the quantity of the ingot with the enchant helps increase that percentage. So I thought, well, I know I'm going to be forcing them because the percentage is just going to be too low and I don't want to keep on re retrying and retrying and all of that stuff. So this is what we're going with. Uh, we have... The remainder of iron ingots uh, in normal ingot form. So we have that. So 17, 18, 19, 20. Because we need 20 ingots. So this is how I've done it. I mean, if we had more of these, the chances would have been better to get this on our armor. Now, I know that this, this armor is going to have a bit of a negative hit to the defense. But it should be much better than what? nothing at the moment <laughs> and don't forget we still have the trinkets and all of that to do as well but i'm not going to be doing that just now hopefully this is going to see us through a little bit you know hopefully we'll try to get some dragon crimson dragon stuff as well and then might redo the process but you know it's further down the road just using normal leather i do have one of these thief bosses in normal leather to be honest i think i'm actually going to do that i'm going to swap that out uh, just right now. So we have one of those. I'm going to swap it out for one of these. Um, I'm going to put that somewhere safe. So let's put that over here. We need, you know, to replace one, uh, which is, what is it, CTRL left or shift left? No, shift left, wasn't it? There we go. Shift left click. So that brings us back up to 20. So 18, 19, 20. Uh, one of these, we, we, we can, I think we'll be okay. It should bring it up properly. Let's have a look, see, let's get there. Click this. So we've got rubber, dangerous, okay. Let's get rid of one leather or some, how many leather? Okay, we have to get rid of uh, six normal leather. And it should show up. That there. And it should show up now. It should. So if we go over here in detail of enchanting, there you go, as you can see. So we had the problem there was we had so many uh, leather parts there um, that it just didn't recognize that Thief Boss's leather part. So that was the issue there. Hopefully, uh, so we've got Robbers, Dangerous, and Thief. That is all that I want. So if we go forcible, as you can see, you know, we've got unit price is going to change, vary depending on the enchant itself. I'm going to grab these like that. Beautiful. We've got a balance of 200 remaining. Very good. We're not going to be getting this. Um, and it's not going to go on this because this reinforced here took its place. So if we didn't select anything, we wouldn't have reinforced and we would have just working with the percentages, which, you know, screw that for now. That's for sure. So let us get this done. So we're going to have a negative, you know, on the, the defense there. We'll see. It should be good. It's early game for me. You know, we're not going to be doing like uh, one shot and bosses and all of that good stuff. So if we have a look at our armor, there we go. So we have physical crit damage rate of 5%, movement speed and attack speed, attack plus 5 15 attack 10 percent defense minus five and all that you guys know how to read i don't have to read it all out to you so we have that beautiful stuff beautiful stuff isn't she cute oh <laughs> anyway we still have the trinkets to do but i'm not going to do them now what i would like to do is just to celebrate is to go and just sort of like see how well or the difference in uh some dungeons so give me one second so okay, let's try it. Try and see what we can do. Just oh what? Oh Jesus! Yeah, now he's still his like a Jesus Christ truck. So that was level fifty-eight versus my 
this is my level 18. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a, a uh, yes. It definitely, definitely was a good test to, 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 to do. Bugger off. Let me pick me thing up. You horrible, nasty flea, flea bag thing. So level 24 Orky Gobby Warrior uh, and an Archer dude over there. Let's see. How how badly? So 41. Oh, yeah. They still hit like a truck, though. We're doing a little bit better in damage. Not too much. Now, if you do time your attacks properly with the Katana, you shouldn't get damage at all. It is something that I'm still trying to get used to, though. So, definitely going to get hit, and definitely going to get hit hard. You see, because on previous previous playthroughs, I used to be able to clear things that were quite uh, higher level than what I was. Um, I'm just trying to see, you know, if it's going to make a bigger difference now. Perhaps they've changed things in the recent updates and all of that, because I have lost track of, you know, stuff and things that they've been uh, doing. And changing. Fuck off, Kevin. I don't, nobody likes you. <laughs> right, well, let's do this a little bit properly at least. You know, let's try to grab some loot while we're here. Make a bit of, made a bit of cash. You know what I mean? Bit of cash. Um, I know it's uh, eating away at the durability, but screw it. I'm just going to use this to bash through these things. Okay, so we've got level 28 Gobbo Warrior. If I can manage the timing properly... We shouldn't take any damage. If. Oh, crap. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> that was a fail. Yeah, you got to manage it. So when you see that little blue... That blue uh, there, like that, and this, during that period, you're not going to take damage. But, as you can see, my timing is quite off. And sometimes it just takes a while for it to... I don't know if you can hear me clicking the mouse, so I'm going to left click, right clicking. So it does take a while for her to draw it back in again to get that little, you know... Oh Christ, you're a little 30. This is going to hurt. I should actually heal, shouldn't I? Come! And, and the other thing is, in order for me to use this little health potion here, I have to put the sword in. So that's another click to do. So that's another two clicks. Which is a bit of a pain, really. So let's block, well block, holster, and there you go. Oh, shit. Hello. Bugger off. Nobody likes you. Go away. Let's grab this chest. Come on, woman. Grab the chest. There you go. Some more cash to make. Okay, got a couple of skellies. What level are these guys? Are they going to literally destroy us? Can't right mouse. There we go. Zero damage. Right mouse again. Oh, crap. That was bad timing. Okay, so let us try that again. Right mousey. Attack, right mousey, attack, right, right, left. <laughs> I'm getting confused. <laughs> okay, right mouse. So we're in our little stance there with our thingy nice and uh, sheathed. Come on then, mate. Are you coming? Once again. And if you get your timing right, I have to say though, I can see the attack speed increase from our armor that is for sure the defense side of things i'm absolutely not seeing it whatsoever but like i've said definitely have to invest in some trinkets with most probably defense on it i totally forgot what the crimson dragon stuff has on uh definitely something you know try and go and poke a dragon at some point so what boss do you think we have uh, Hopefully it's not going to be one that is a pain in the ass. Oh dear, it's going to be one that's a pain in the ass. What the hell is this one? Oh, I totally forgot what this one does, what it does, what do you do, what do you do, what do you do? How bad, how bad is this going to hurt me? Oh dear. Oh, you do that, you sneaky little bastard, you. And right mouse. Right mouse. Right mouse. <laughs> right mouse. Can we keep this up? Can we keep this up? Right mouse. Right. Right, 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 right. Oh my god. 
That would have wrecked. You know what? I should probably heal. Move! 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 Come on. Let's get some heals. Lovely. 155 there. Another heal. Top us off. Where you at, fool? Okay, stamina. Here you go. Right mouse. Ah, shit. Did not time that properly at all. And that was too much. Right mouse. Right mouse. Don't hurt. We need to move. Move, move, move. Oh, dear. Ow. Oh yeah, Berber, that was the little combo thingy-me-doodle that I was told about. I've, I've got to get used to that, because that was the first time that I actually pulled that thing off. Lovely. Did you see those hits? They were in the 1,000 marks, man. That was sweet. That was sweet. Um, the, I am really enjoying the, the katana. It's got a lot to get used to, though, and it it just it can feel a bit cu cu cumbersome at times, really. But, you know, it's probably something to get used to. It's still new, so perhaps there'll be some more tweaks coming to it and all that good stuff. Oh, hello, we have another katana there. Let us see what the hell... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, see what that is. So, this is a one-handed sword. We're not really interested in it that much. And it's a, mostly for magic stuff. This, though, this is what I'm... Oh, come on, really? Ma magic stuff? Really? And it's minus 10 to defense. Yeah, no, man. You, you can keep that. Uh, <laughs> you can totally keep it. You know what to stop it. Mm -hmm. So, we'll get rid of those. Let's grab this thing. Come here, you. And we've got four challenges. Shaman's Baseball Helmet. It's an helmet. Let's have a look see. What does that do? Attack minus 15. And attack minus 10 But magic attack plus 30. It's worth some money. So we'll sell it. Who right then? It's just probably about bloody time that we actually move. Well, move. Start to make a little housey. So one of the problems that I've found is... Um, this is a level 4 island. Okay. There is a level 5 island, uh, just like this one, Cherry Blossom Island. The problem there is that there is only one single iron node on the whole island. There's probably about two or three silvers, two or three coppers, and the rest is like stone and sand, which... It's an absolute pain in the ass, really, to try to do something. Yes, you can most definitely set up, you know, your crocodiles to farm iron and all of that stuff. But really, you know, I just want to I just want to grab stuff from the terrain. You know what I mean? When I have stuff planted down, I don't want too many farms. There is going to be a number of, you know, mob farmy things going on. But I thought, you know, living up here is going to be pretty damn sweet. We have a view of down there. We can also have something, you know um happening down there extend something out a bit so we can also get a view of this nice waterfall so yeah that's the plan it's a pretty big space up here oh god here we go she's not you know grabbing all the things pretty big space up here um a couple of levels to the terrain though which can be most probably will be a bit of a issue. Let's have a look. Where are these? Oh Christ! Where are these? Uh, sort of like. Oh Christ! No! Don't do that. Yeah. It might be a bit of a pain in the ass to actually sort of like build around here, but I mean, we can always unlock the 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 tile from G, but then we would have to place each one manually. You cannot snap to this one, so that's another problem. It's a damn shame. Would love if it, if I could just you know place a tile in any orientation, and if I then use G, you know even though it can snap up there to have it also snap to that tile. That my God, that would be so good. 
So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to make this a time lapse. What I do know is I'm going to record it anyway. Don't know how I'm going to present it to you good peoples just yet. So we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so this build, by the looks of things, is going to take me a couple of years to complete. Because there is a lot, as you can see here, there is a lot of glitching, I guess we could say. Um... So let me try to replicate what I've done here over here, just in case you guys are curious as to, you know, how the balls does one do this. It's an absolute bloody nightmare. That is how you do this. So with G, as you can see down at bottom left, you've got G, sn grid, Jesus Christ. We've got <laughs> grid snap mode on. It is ticked, so you can now place this pretty much wherever it is snapping to. Uh, we rotate it three times, like so. Try your best, your bestest, to line it up. Now, you're not going to line up the corners perfectly. There's going to be one overhanging slightly, which is why I've got that trim going on over there, which is another pain in the ass to get in. But, I mean, as you can see, this one is higher. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, the, the game isn't set up to snap to a different object in a different orientation. So you have to manually line it up and you have to manually do the whole glitchy thing to get things stuck in. So give me one second. Let me see if I can get this somewhat decent. So what I'm doing is, as you can see, I'm, it's flashing blue here. That means I can place it down, but it's going to make a lip. It's going to make a small step. I want to flush with the other one, so I'm dipping my, my cursor down a bit. And I'm clicking. And hopefully, hopefully we can glitch it in. Uh, and hopefully it's at the right bloody distance and all of that. Because then we have to put another one in as well. We need two to make this angle here. Which, uh, I don't know. I'm only going to do this shape like this. The rest of the build, unfortunately, is going to have to be very standard. It's not really what I wanted to, you know, to make. I really wanted to make something very different. A bit of shape and a bit of style. A bit of angles. But, yeah. Game said, yeah, now, mate. So, as you can see, I've got a flash in blue. And I pulled it down. And I've just fit it in. As you can see there, you know, that's the little lip that I was... Little lip. The little pointy bit that I was turning you about. Which we're going to be covering up with these guys. These guys are... The Medieval Curbstone. Now, I've been trying to put the Medieval Windscot B in, but that has proven to be an even bigger pain in the ass. These guys over here, they're very nice, though. I was going to use that all the way around, but, you know, like I said, the game, the game is saying, yeah, nah, man. yeah, I know it's cool, but yeah, nah. <laughs> anyway, that's this little bit done. So, I mean, for this side here, we can go... You know, one whole piece, that is no problem. But then again, once again, we have the whole um, thingy to do over here. So, that is somewhat lined up. That is a bit high. I need it to go down. So, it's blue. And I'm clicking. Hopefully, it's okay. Yeah, that's kind of okay. It's kind of good. It's, yeah, it's not really what I wanted. God damn it. Um, oh crap, perhaps these had to go too long then, two tiles long, but I don't know. I don't know how that would look. Okay, so I found something that I'm quite enjoying. These little blocks, they are so useful. It's, you're probably saying, who are they so small? They are really, really useful. I'm really loving that they've got these different sized, uh, you know, uh, wall block types in this is just awesome because you know you can you don't need to make a massive full sort of like wall and yeah man that is pretty damn sweet um, I am still messing around mr. tree mr. tree okay you can be right <laughs> yeah that's that's good planning right there I know there's a couple of places over here where they have the most stupidest planning ever and they would most probably do this over here is have a tree right in front of the stairs ah <laughs> oh, yeah that is nice man I'm liking that I'm liking that a lot okay so a quick progress update <laughs> it has been going absolutely and utterly slow 
Um, as you can see from the day count up there, God knows what it was when the last time I, I did a bit of a clip. But there's a load of problems. <laughs> as you can see, look at that. But that is obviously my fault because I'm glitching the crap out of stuff there. So it's not the game, that's me. But we'll get to some other bits and pieces in a moment. Firstly, finding something nice and clear with the word that matches this word or this word that matches that word is non-existent. <laughs> that took me ages to decide, what the hell am I going to do here? Should I just leave it open? Um, we're still on the outside. We're actually well, on part of the outside. There's still plenty more of outside to be done. As you can see, down hither, an absolute pain in the balls because the terrain is going up on a stage um, and steps, really. So we've got another step over here, as you can see. You know, it carries on going that way. I did these. I thought they were going to look kind of cool. I kind of saw something like this um, around... Uh, pictures stuff like that oh crap i don't have any arrows on me De okay swap swap the weapon thank you sometimes things are just such a never i'm not gonna get into it so yeah um down here as a cover-up job i've got those as you can see there's a massive gap so i'm gonna have to move this tweak it up later on there is a lot of glitching being done though for example these are not on the grid and by not on the grid because it confuses me. The way it's worded, it just confuses the absolute crap out of me. If you look at the bottom left there, you can see grid snap mode is off. But to me, this is snapping to a grid. Right? Yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and then if I if we hit G, now it says grid snap mode is on and it's ticked. But this to me feels a bit more freer form. Even though it is still snapping to a very minuscule sort of like grid. So that is what we're doing over here. We're using this, as you can see, well, I can't really place it down, but as you can see, you know, it's it's there. That is, that's the basic grid right there, I believe. As you can see, it goes either up or it goes under the terrain. This is the normal height down here, like that. And as you will see over here, we've got these little red tiles. They are also using grid snap mode on. And just glitch down like I did over there when I was putting the, the, the angle. When I rotated this and tried to snap it in. That is what we're doing there. I placed them down and they were blue. But they were a little bit too high for my liking to actually meet up with these white ones. So... These little tiles here, I had them, they were blue, then I had to push them down, you know, whilst they they hit that red state, just to glitch them in place. But as these are a little bit thick, you know, they're not doing the whole Z-Vite fighting stuff like this over here. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I've been experimenting a lot with these sort of like window frames and what to put in. I'm, you can't even really see that there's glass there, it just seems like it's open. I've been putting these little pavers in. They are looking really nice. I'm really loving this sort of effect that we that's going on over here. So I'm going to repeat that pretty much all the way around the edge. For now, I don't know how sort of like big um, I'm going to go with this. Um, da, da, da. Yeah, as you can see, you know, you get that corner piece that gets missing in over there. It is a bit of a pain in the butthole. I mean, if we do it like this over here, then it goes too far. Uh, that's too high. So if we do that, and just bring this all the way around. It might look a little bit better. Re really having issues trying to match the sort of like the wood up, like the white plaster. You know, if 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 this wood was to look like that, that would be pretty damn awesome, man. What in God's name is that bloody creature? Is that pissing Godzilla or what? Jesus, look at the size of that thing. She said. <laughs> oh, it's the mines, my God. Yeah, it's a bit, um... Yeah, a little bit dangerous down there. We, we also got another friend over there as well. It's uh, a very uh, healthy place to be, that is for sure. <laughs> our front garden <laughs> this is gonna look oh 
my god, we've got so much, you know, walling to put in here. It's, uh, I don't hope it doesn't look too bad. But then there's, you know, all the little bushies and the little shrubby things that we can make. But, yeah. Hopefully it's going to work out well. But, you know, hopefully you guys have some awesome ideas for me. Well, any ideas, really. Yeah, we have to take that out. So yeah, this could be like, you know, a training area kind of deal. I don't know. I'm sure we're going to fill up with a load of crap. But, obviously, you know, I'm going to have another building. Oops. I'm going to have another building uh, probably where old giraffe pants is. Somewhere down here. This is part of part of this this mountain. I uh, could have a building down here just for storage. Try to replicate, you know, this, this theme that's going on over here somehow. So, yeah. So, that's think what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, you know, probably, hopefully on the next one, you'll see this thing complete. I've, I've, I've burnt myself out, really. So, I hope I, this hasn't been too dull. Um, but, yeah, you know, looking forward for your, your thoughts, you know, uh, suggestions and all that good stuff. Suggestions for lighting, because these lights are so dull. Even though it's showing this big sort of, like, radius, it is very, very dull. Um, want to still try to use, let's see, some of these. Oh, crap, I don't have any charcoal on me. I would have loved to see, you know, how bright these things are. And all of that. I mean, yeah, we do have some some others for, for inside as well. Definitely have to make a couple of these because the bloody monos are getting on my nerves. I mean, we've got loads of stuff for decorations. Loads more stuff to unlock for decorations as well. well Christ, we need to make a bathroom. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's there's a lot of things to to add to this. I mean, we might make it a two-story, even. Or one and a half. <laughs> one and a half stories. And see how she does. See, so, yeah, I think I'm going to call it here. Hopefully, you guys, you know, um, uh, found this or will find this sort of, like, you know, nice and... Um, have other ideas and stuff to leave me in the box and down there. So for now, I'm going to call it here, my Austin Redubians. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. So take care, and I'll take catch you all on the next one.